Hey up, I'm a Nottingham lass and this video is about the biggest attraction in Nottingham. Yes, it's Sherwood Forest, the home of Robin Hood. If you come to Nottingham, you need to go to Sherwood Forest. It's about 20 miles from Nottingham and you can get there via car or bus. I went in the car. There's a car park and it's only four quid to park there. Bearing in mind it's free to go into Sherwood Forest, it's not a bad day out and the four quid helps to maintain the forest. It's a short walk up to the forest and there it is, there's the bus from Nottingham to Sherwood Forest or Sherwood Forest Nottingham. There's a nice cricket ground to watch a match and you go past all these lovely little craft shops and we also spotted some nice horses. Oh look, there's the main man, it's Robin Hood, must get a selfie. How lovely is the shiny new visitor centre? There's so much good stuff to buy, all Robin Hood. Mm lovely. I also got myself a Robin Hood hat to walk around the forest in. It was only two quid. I couldn't resist. Very nice toilets and cafe. Super super duper clean and nice soup too. It does make a difference. Outside there's a huge play area for kids. So here's a few fun facts about Sherwood Forest. It used to be a royal hunting forest and it used to be much much bigger. It used to be a hundred thousand acres of heath and woodland. Now sadly only a thousand acres. Anyone back in Robin Hood's time who was caught taking wood or killing animals without the king's permission was cruelly punished. Another fun fact, there used to be a north road that ran from London to York through the forest. The forest used to have a really bad reputation, full of robbers. It was a very, very dangerous road to go along. There were highwaymen who would just steal all your stuff. Robin Hood and his men would have hunted rabbits, wild boar, deer, and small game. No wonder they were unpopular with the king. So it's a lovely walk to the major oak through the forest. And here is that famous tree. Crikey, it's just so massive. It's so majestic. It's about three to four meters across the base. Now this tree is about 800 to a thousand years old and if an oak tree is over 400 years old it's called an ancient oak tree and guess what Sherwood Forest has 1000. Anyway the major oak weighs 23 tons it weighs the same as four adult elephants. Anyway something else that's quite interesting that big dome at St Paul's Cathedral in London that includes six Sherwood Forest oak trees isn't that just amazing? Now there's a fence around the oak tree that was put up in 1975 because people who walked near the tree were squashing the soil and putting pressure on the roots. Now the roots are four times the spread of the tree and they reach the picnic tables. This oak tree is home to many creatures and species including nesting jackdaws, tree creepers, blue tits, honeybees, purple hair streaked butterflies, bats and fungus. Now the tree needs some extra support. I mean if you were 1000 years old so would you. A lot of people still feel that the spirit of Robin Hood is still in the forest. We took the giant's trail back to the visitor centre. We walked past these huge ancient oak trees. It really blew my mind. It was just amazing to see them all. It really puts your life into perspective actually. I mean whatever happens those trees are always going to be there. Anyway we got back to the cafe and had a spot of light lunch. It was very nice. We had a wander through the visitor centre. Loads of cool stuff for kids actually. Dressing up stuff and if you're a tourist there's loads of gifts you can get there. Anyway, leaving the forest, I spotted a youth hostel. So if you can't get back to town, you can always stay the night here. So on the way back to the car, we went into a little shop called Simply Natural. We spotted some pink Himalayan crystal salt lamps. I've wanted one of these for ages. They're really good for health and well-being. A very nice lady in the shop told us all about it. And so we got one. It was quite heavy to carry back to the car though. So what a lovely morning out. If you're in Nottinghamshire, do visit Sherwood Forest. It's only 20 miles from the city centre and you won't be disappointed. Has anyone out there already been there? What did you think of it? Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!